Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Milburn is brought to you by Cooperman Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston. Newly minted State Gatorade Player of the Year, Steven Echevarria takes the mound for Milburn in the North 2 Group 3 Final. Many thought Cranford would be the opponent for the third straight year, but number six seed North Hunterdon upset the Cougars earlier this week. With a number of MLB scouts behind home plate, Echevarria went right to work in the top half of the first inning, flashing some elite velocity on two punch outs. The Millers set the tone right away. Echevarria and catcher Shy Abbott have had a great rapport all season. Here they execute the strike him out, throw him out to perfection, and that closes out the top half of the second. Milburn will break through in the bottom of the second. Jack Meyerowitz snares this one to center field. Greg Rosenthal comes across the dish. The Millers have a 1-0 lead. Bottom three now. We've got two runners in scoring position for Alex Wilson, and he hits a rope to left. One run will score. Another comes in on a throwing error. A sacrifice fly later in the inning has Milburn up to a 4-0 lead. Echevarria was working his way through this North Hunter in lineup. Through four full innings of work, this senior has only allowed a single hit while striking out five batters. Milburn will go to the bottom of the fifth with that 4-0 lead still intact. But that's where the Millers break this game open. Two men on base for Matt Wiener, and he clobbers one to the opposite field. It falls. Wiener turns on the afterburners. He's got a bases clearing triple. He will come across to score on a fielder's choice later. Milburn leads 7 0. Ultimately, Echevarria would throw six and a third shutout innings with eight punch outs. He would exit the game in the seventh, and it's Henry Jacobs who records the last out with the strikeout. Milburn captures the North 2 Group 3 sectional championship. 7-0 is the final. Another gem from MLB draft prospect, Steven Echevarria, means the Millers keep on playing. I mean, it was great. I mean, we knew coming into it was going to be a hot game. Um, we kind of wanted Cranford, you know, the rivalry the past two years. They won one, we won one. So, I mean, we were hoping for them. I mean, this team came out on top. They're a hell of a team. Um, but, I mean, it was, I mean, it's always great going to work with these guys and to keep on going, keep playing after today. Yeah, for the last few games in states, we've been, we've been scoring the two outs, so it's pretty hard to stop us when we just go single, single, back to back, and we just play our small ball and play our game. And then we have a guy like Steve on the mound to back us up. It's pretty hard to stop. Morris Knowles will host Milburn in the Group 3 state semifinals early next week. Reporting from Milburn, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.